Hey, this is Jason from Maven, the electronic music production and DJ school in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I'm here with a quick Ableton Live tip for you guys. All right, I have a basic Future House style loop going here. Let me just play it for you quickly. All right, so say I want to add some vocal chops over the top of this. I'm going to go find a vocal over here in my libraries. All right, so I get this guy here. All right, so first off, I want to pop it into complex for the warping. And then I can see this is in G minor, my songs in F minor. So I'm just going to lower this two steps. All right, let's give it a listen. All in my head, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that works. But what if instead of just throwing a vocal on the top of this track, I wanted to sort of chop it up? So I could, you know, just grab my cursor and start making edits and, you know, deleting things and moving things around. But what I find a lot more effective and efficient is to use the the slice to new MIDI feature inside live. So first off, I'm just going to consolidate this vocal with command J. And that will just lock in the uh, the warping and the transposition that I did on that. All right. Now I can right click on it. And down here, slice to new MIDI track. And then there's different options. You can slice it by warp markers or transients, but I'm gonna go with eighth notes. I think that will give me some, some good space slices on here. So hit okay. It's gonna make a new track. And I can actually delete this original vocal track now. And right here, if I were to just play this, it'll play back the vocal in the original way it was sung. All, in my head, yeah, yeah. so if we look at the MIDI here, it just gives you these chromatic slices up the keyboard. And as long as I play straight eighth notes, it will play back the vocal as it originally was. But I'm gonna delete that. And then what I could do, is I could just make a new region and then just start popping in slices. So I can just click around and listen. And I can sort of find the parts I like. Move them around. And chop up the vocal. So I actually did one ahead of time, just so you didn't have to watch me clicking around here. So same vocal, just with uh, a pattern planned out. So we got this here. Loop it up. All right, so let's check this out. And it sounds pretty good. So all I did was I just grabbed the vocal, sliced to MIDI, and then just kind of clicked around and drew in a pattern that I thought fit the track, and you're done. Um, I could just grab this now and maybe go over to my audio effects, a little compression on this vocal that would help it out, and dial back the gain a little bit. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Then maybe a little ping pong delay. Then maybe some reverb. Maybe 
maybe clean up the low end a little bit. Let's grab my EQ here. And then last, I'll just grab a compressor and I'll side chain this to my kick and snare. All right, let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Great. So hopefully you guys find that useful. Just a quick, easy way to chop up audio. And then obviously you can use it for anything. It doesn't need to be vocals. You could chop up a drum break or a synth loop, anything. Just right click on the audio, slice to new MIDI track, and there you go. All right. Thanks.